Woo. Oh my God. Fuck off. <laughs> I can't believe I fucked that up. That's a bad start to the show, that it? Where are we, lad? Yoke. Very, yeah. Uh, rushed one today, we were all stuck on the motorway. Crash on the M6. Katie's late again. Okay, well, before you, man. <laughs> No, you're supposed to be here well early than me, though. So I got here before you. I'm I got here at half seven. I was early. You were late. You were supposed to be here well before me. What are you doing, that? You're dexter. Like Batman. Yeah, it's really bad. It's like stiff enough as we speak. I'm trying to like fucking connect fucking Michael Keaton Batman. <laughs> Nice. You enjoy that one, yeah? Yeah, it was nice. A lot of movement, but it's a big room, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was fine. I felt quite relaxed. I embellished some bits quite a bit. Yeah? Nice. Yeah, yeah. It was good, actually. It was nice. It's fucking disastrous start. <laughs> Off stage mic didn't work, so I couldn't do the announcements, and then walked on, pulled the mic out, and that mic, the lead came out. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my... Fuck off! <laughs> I can't believe I fucked that up. That's a bad start to the show, that it? I was supposed to have a mic over there, that fucked up as well. I was supposed to go, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paul Smith Joker. Please go wild and crazy for Paul Smith. And you go, go mad. That didn't work, so I just had to walk out like a fucking Wally. Got it, yeah. <laughs> I fucking took the mic out as a fucking lead to come out. Fuck off, I'm getting off. Oh, fucking hell. But it was quite funny anyway, made it work. I thought it was going to be a bit fucking eggy. And yeah. I started, it wasn't in the end, but that guy thought he was funny. The salesman guy. Yeah, so I started with him um, and I thought I'm going to leave him for a minute because he's, he's too cocky. Yeah. And so I went, to the, I went back to the people I was talking to, got some good stuff about it. I felt bad, but she said it. So like, I was like, I, I, I've got to run with it. Cause she works for Jet2 and I said, are you on the plane? She said, no, I'm too big for the plane. And I was like, fuck, did Jet2 say that? <laughs> Cause if they did, it's out of order. <laughs> so I kept having to like, I had to make a joke about it. You on the planes, are you? No, no. No, what do you want? You're one of the ones in the check-in thing? Like, oh, just do that way. <laughs> you're too, what? You're too big for the plane. <laughs> I hope you said that and not Jet2. <laughs> Just just walking up on a first day. Too fat girl, get off. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. That's not carry on that, Jess. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, mate. You're not as big as the trolley. <laughs> Do you know what was the best part of that which went massively over everyone's head when you went... Just too fat for the plane, or just too big for the plane. <laughs> I caught that and I thought, that didn't get the applaud it deserved at all. Just too big for the plane. Yeah. Don't feel like you want to talk to me. No, just fucking fix things, mate. Move on, didn't want to sit here. She bought the tickets. She's a fucking dickhead. Who's laughing now? She's too fat for the fucking plane now. That's going to be, the... be on the fucking internet, isn't it? Just too fat for the fucking plane. <laughs> Uh, it's one of them, uh, that'll go online as a clip and it'll fog out loads of shit over it, like I've said it. Yeah. <laughs> so then, yeah, then I went back to him and uh, he was like, he was trying to be cocky, so I thought, I'll give, I'll give him a little, I'll give him enough rope to hang himself. 
Yeah. So I was like, have you come with your own gags? So he got one out, didn't get what he wanted, and then he could see him, like it was bollocks shriveling. <laughs> then he got a second, I was like, oh, is, that you? is this your jokes, is it? Oh, well then, yeah. And uh, I gave him the second one, he was like, that's all I've got. And I was like, what you doing? And he said sales, and I was like, you fucking dead. Okay, you look very confident, body language, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, I feel like you've been preparing for this for, <laughs> for a while. I feel like you bought that ticket and you've been writing, writing gags. Six, six, you were on resale? Were they? How much you paying? You got it for like face value though? Uh, about ten quid, I think. Ten quid? Oh, that one of your gags. <laughs> Good one, that means. <laughs> <laughs> Them ones never sold. No, you don't. Heavy that, isn't it? We're only coming to a train fair. What? What? Oh, you've got more? Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> you've got a full script. <laughs> Well, no, 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 keep going. That's it, man. It just fills my time. <laughs> I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You only had two? Yeah. Oh, fuck off, mate. You've had loads of time to prepare for this. <laughs> you only paid a tenner for the ticket, for fuck's sake. You could have put some fucking effort in your daft ones. <laughs> oh, you spent more on the fucking ale. You've done my head, didn't you? What's your name? Ben. Ben. You're right, Ben. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. I'm good. I'm good. Glad. Thank awesome. you for asking. Nice to, yeah. nice to meet you, Ben. What do you do, Ben? I'm a salesman. You're a salesman, I fucking knew it, look at you. <laughs> you just stink of cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I bet you don't even sell good shit, but you think it's good. It's not, it's shit stuff, innit? You sell fucking like adverts on fucking magazines no one reads, and that you fucking prick. Hello, you fucking need this advert, and you're like, you fucking scumbag. <laughs> 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 and I was like, mate, what you sell isn't even good, it's shit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sell that type of person. Uh, but he was, his missus was so happy, though. Like, she was so fucking happy that he got brought down a peg. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you can never, tell, can't you? Tell the way, just the way he sat like that, looking at me going, like, you can just tell that they think, yeah, well, yeah, I can have banter with him, I can own, I can own my own, I can own my own, but yeah, still, yeah. they're not ready for that level of pressure. I bet his missus was sat there thinking, please get him, please get him, please <laughs> yeah, get him. Yeah, she was, I could see, how, you could see how fucking made up she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I can't yeah, wait to see that. He won't come back now, he'll, he'll sit there, <laughs> like, a, like a good little boy now. And then who did you move on to after that on the left, the right? Yeah, then we had a couple of, couple of uh, people who worked in a nursery. I've never heard of a baby room in a nursery. And I was, she said baby room lead. And in my head, I was trying, I was think, trying to figure a joke out where there's a lead on babies. Like, <laughs> but I just couldn't get my head around it. Yeah, yeah. Enough to say it. So I just, and I moved away. And then <laughs> I asked who she breastfed. Because the thing is, though, I was genuinely like, because she just don't know you. Yeah? Some no. people used to have milk beds and that. Yeah, yeah. And like, even if the old baby goes in, like I know they have formula, but then... I've heard of people sending milk in with the kids. Then again, yeah, you can express, can't yeah, you? Yeah. think of that, yeah. What, what are you doing in the nursery? Uh, baby room lead. Baby room lead? What the fuck? <laughs> what? She runs the baby room. She runs the baby room. How young are the babies? Three months. Fuck off. Straight in nursery. <laughs> Have a baby tomorrow so we can stay out for fuck's sake. Look at he's fucking all so keen at you, Jay. <laughs> so yeah, you had the nursery people. And yeah. then I thought it was quite funny how you managed to tie the guys in walking up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about then, breast yeah, these the guys. Guy, he done me a favour to be honest because I didn't want to get out of that. Yeah. And then um, yeah, I was like, oh, he's fuming because he uh, breast is best. He's fucking he's fuming now, he's walking out. <laughs> not having that. She's not breastfeeding, I'm not staying. <laughs> he's fucking fuming, look. Breast is best, that's what he said. <laughs> uh, but it was nice, this is, it's, it's, a, it's a big room, but it, seems, it feels quite chilled. The energy's um, quite low, but I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, it feels quite calm. It is a massive room, it though, is isn't it? <laughs> What is this? What? I can't take my feet off the ground. What am I supposed to do? I can't do mine either. Oh, yeah. Well, if you hold on, then you might be able to. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, my God. Never gets old. old. Never gets old. <laughs> That's a serial matter. That's a serial matter. Serial <laughs> matter. Thank you. Serial matter. Serial matter. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> uh, York done. Back on the bag shop now. I don't know if we've got another one yet. I know we've got another show in York, but I think it's at a different venue. It's a shame. Still quite like this one, but then again, you never know. Oh, good job. Bye, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, show, York show done. We've got another one in a different venue, but yeah, made it with that. Uh, proper nice one. I think that was the nicest one I've done here. Yeah. So, yeah, settling into the show. Where are we at next? Play with it. Uh, off to Hull for two shows next week. I'm quite excited about because that was a good one last time. Yeah. Yeah, so that'll be good. And we want to have Tom there kicking off. <laughs>